today I want to talk to you about the power of personal responsibility. Let me share with you three simple words. I am responsible. When we take responsibility for our lives, we unleash incredible power to achieve in every area of our lives. It seems that unsuccessful people live by the belief that life just happens to me. But successful people have this belief that I create my life. Unsuccessful people seem to love three special activities, blame, complaining and justifying. They love to blame the government, they blame the economy, they like to blame God and most of all they love blaming their parents. Now, as attractive as those things might seem, successful people know that those things are only going to hold them back. Instead they've got the attitude, if it's to be, it's up to me and they say, I am responsible. Successful people say, I'm going to get ahead because I'm going to make sure I get ahead. Taking responsibility is powerful and it's because it unleashes motivation and motivation creates activity and before you know it, you're on the path to achieving your dreams. The Bible calls it the law of sowing and reaping. You reap what you sow. If a farmer sows some corn seed, he doesn't expect apple trees to spring up. He knows he's going to get corn. In Daniel chapter 5, we read about King Belshazzar. Here's a king who was spiritually bankrupt and he sowed bad choices as a king. One day he threw this huge party for over a thousand people. And while he was having the party, the, um, the Mede army came and attacked the city. He lost his whole kingdom and his life. That's the law of sowing and reaping. Now take Daniel on the other hand. Here's a guy who had had so many setbacks. He was even taken captive into another land. He had all the reason in the world to complain or blame or justify, but he didn't go down that path. Instead, he took on a better attitude and made the most of his situation. And what happened to him? Well, he became the prime minister of underneath of that king. What's more, he made um, prime minister under the new king as well. Talk about an incredible turnaround. You know, just saying the words, I am responsible, can be liberating. Why don't you just say it with me right now? I am responsible. There's power in those words. What area do you want to get ahead in in life? Do you want to get ahead in your finances, in mastering a new skill, in your spiritual life? Whatever area you're wanting to get ahead in, why don't you just say today, I'm going to draw a line in the sand, I'm going to say goodbye to blame, complaining, justifying, and I'm going to say, I am responsible for this area of my life. Listen, let me congratulate you because you've just taken the first step to achieving your dreams. Because remember, in life, if you want something different, you're going to have to do something different. Thanks very much, Ben.